Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to BeerGeekNation.com. Once again, out on the deck doing another beer review. This beautiful weather has got me in the mood for beer reviewing. But this one I wanted to do, I've never had this one. This is Terrapin. This is their Rye Squared, which is considered an Imperial Pale Ale. Um, it's more like a double IPA. It comes in at 8.5%. It is a seasonal release. It is available now. Get it in six packs. Um, something I did want to note that's always been one of my issues with Terrapin is they finally got a real beer cap on there. It used to just be a gold top. Now it's a picture of a turtle, which is their little uh, mascot. So with that said, let me get into a glass so you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Rye Squared Imperial IPA from Terrapin Brewing. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Rye Squared, a really, really dark orange, a little bit of uh, haziness in there, probably some hop haze coming through. Um, there's about a, a finger and a half worth of an off-white, kind of typical double IPA looking head. Nice carbonation, lots of carbonation coming off the bottom of the glass between the head and the actual beer itself. Alcohol legs, definitely present. Very, very typical looking double IPA. All right. <laughs> The aroma on the rye squared. Yeah, I'm getting kind of strange. Big caramel notes, um, toffee notes. Definitely getting the rye in there. Rye smells, when they use rye in a beer, you get a spiciness, kind of a black pepper type of character, and that's definitely coming through. A little bit of alcohol. Hops aren't overwhelming in this one. It's, it's grapefruit. Sweet citrus fruits, almost overly ripe citrus fruits, orange peel, lemon zest. That's really it. I mean, it's not that impressive of an imperial smelling IPA. All right, the taste on the rye squared. Initial taste right at the front of the tongue, tip of the tongue is bitterness. Uh, lemon peel, orange zest. You know, there's sweet fruits in there, tropical fruits. It's kind of a blend between middle of the country and west coast. Not real powerful. Middle of the mouth, I'm getting a lot of the caramel notes, the toffee notes, big kind of bready maltiness in there, that rise coming through, the spiciness is definitely there, which actually coincidentally blends really, really nicely with the bitterness at the front of the tongue. So that's, that's really, really nice. Um, nice dry finish. I am getting some kind of sweet aftertaste to it, uh, overly ripe, um, you know, uh, oranges, a little bit of raisin in there from the caramel and the toffee. I didn't know what to expect, but it's an interesting beer, not the greatest, quote, imperial. I don't know if I, I really, I don't think I would call this an imperial pale ale or imperial IPA after having it. Imperial pale ale is probably a fair statement for it. It's kind of a weird conglomerate of a beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict at the end of the day, what am I going to give Terrapin's Rye Squared Imperial Pale Ale, 8.5%, limited availability, get it while you can. You know, I'm going to give this one a B minus. Um, I, I, I don't know where to start with this one. It's a bit syrupy. Uh, it's got, I think, the caramel characters. There's a lot of crystal malt, from what I can tell, just really, really kind of overwhelming the palate, a lot of sweetness to it. There's a nice hop presence, but it's not, it doesn't, you know blend real well with the caramel characters it works well with the rye which is kind of spicy but the but kind of the caramel and the toffee and this beer really kind of take over um uh, hop characters that are there grapefruit you know overly ripe grapefruit orange that's lemon peel definitely there alcohol is present it's just not great um i don't know i'm, I'm kind of disappointed by it uh, Terrapin makes some great beers. This isn't one of them, but with that said, you know, it's it's worth trying. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think there's something there. I, I just don't know if I'm not getting it, um, but to call a beer an Imperial kind of puts it out there that it's going to have a lot of flavor profiles and various scales, and I'm not getting that. So with that said, guys, Terrapin's Rye Squared gets a B minus from me. With that said, guys, life's too short. Just